just am so excited. If you can't tell, I'm just so excited to just take you through the entire process, the entire journey, start to finish. And yeah, welcome to our new house. Hey everyone, it's Courtney. On this channel, I'm all about raising joy by finding the simplicity in motherhood through minimalism and intentional living. In today's video, I am super excited to finally be sharing with you that we are officially going tiny. Our family of four bought an RV and we are going to be going full time in it. Again. Yes, this is our second time doing this and the tiny lifestyle is the lifestyle for us and I'm going to get into that a little bit more later into the video. So before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed and that you give this video a thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get into it. So how I'm going to be breaking this video up is first off, I'm going to tell you what the heck we're doing. Secondly, I'm going to give you a little bit of a background around how we came to this decision. And then I'm also going to share with you what's next, what's to come, what's going to be on this channel. Stay tuned and you'll find out. In 2019, my husband and I decided that we were going to buy an RV and renovate it and travel in it full time for an entire year. It ended up being the same year that my daughter, who is now two, was born. And it was just an incredible experience traveling the entire U.S her first year of life was just incredible. After a year of traveling, we decided that we were just gonna settle down in Texas, get jobs, raise our kids here, and that was that. But little did we know how miserable we were gonna be living in a house again. I know that might shock a lot of you, but living with less truly was such an amazing blessing in our life. It allowed us to have so much more space and time and overall just energy could be put into things that really mattered like raising our family. And as soon as we got into house, we just quickly realized that there was just so much work that went into keeping a house. And I felt like I was constantly cleaning. My husband was constantly mowing the lawn. I'm serious. It took him like three hours just to do the front lawn. And we realized that we were just drowning in responsibilities that we didn't have to deal with when we were in the RV. So now that our second daughter is born, we decided, you know what? Life's too short. If we truly loved living tiny and it made our lives better, then that's what we needed to be doing. So this time around, we decided to get a little bit of a bigger RV. You can kind of see our kitchen in the back. Um, we don't plan on doing a full remodel of this one. Um, I will have that video of the walkthrough of this entire space linked down below. That is our family channel, so make sure you are subscribed to that as well because there will be a lot more videos on RV stuff on that channel as well. So this RV has two separate rooms, so we are able to have the girls in one room and our space in another room, and as of right now, we are slowly transitioning all of our stuff into the RV. I will say the first time when we went full time, we did not do it right. I wish we would have slowly moved our stuff in and actually lived in it while still technically living slash owning a house so we could work out the kinks and figure out what we truly wanted or needed in the space. So with that said, my channel is all about minimalism and intentional living and motherhood, which is crazy to put all of those things together because motherhood I know is crazy at times, but I really want to take you guys along on the decluttering process. Um, we don't have a ton, a ton of stuff. I think we have very minimal stuff. Um, I know once you get in a house, you kind of accumulate things. So I know we have a lot more than we did when we were in the RV the first time. Um, but I just want to take you along on that journey, what it's going to look like trying to downsize our 2000 square foot home into only like 250 square feet. Our plan this time around is to pretty much sell everything, like keep 1% of our stuff. And I just think that that process can be very glamorized and going through it previously, just having it be my husband and I, it was hard. It took a lot of time and effort. And this time around when we have barely any time, at the end of the day when the kids go to bed to ourselves. I'm just gonna say I have no idea how we're gonna manage to do this. We've given ourselves somewhat of a timeline of how quickly we wanna be out of the house, we're gonna sell our house, we're gonna go into the RV full time and hopefully start traveling again. We really truly thrive on travel and we don't need to be in one space to make that happen. And with our girls being so young, it's the perfect time to just 
travel as much as possible until we have to settle down. But with that being said, we do plan on being in the RV when we eventually settle down as well, just so that way when we transition to getting a house, it's going to be something that we can honestly pay off very very quickly because of the amount of money we are going to be saving by being in an RV. So I know that was a lot of information. I just really wanted to share this amazing news with you guys and just take you along on the journey. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to be taking you through each and every one of our rooms and spaces in the house and showing you my process of decluttering it as well as what we're going to keep, what we're going to be putting in the RV, and every video I'm going to be sharing with you. Like if I'm doing the bathroom, I'm going to show you what our bathroom in the house looks like, the space that needs to be decluttered, and then I will show you what the new space, the new bathroom looks like. So you kind of get an idea of how much we have to downsize. And honestly, when we first went into the RV the first time two years ago, I didn't even know what minimalism was. I honestly was living a lifestyle that I didn't even know I was. And now that I've just experienced living with less and how much joy that's brought me and my family, I want to share that with you. And if you get anything out of this video, you don't have to necessarily be a minimalist or live tiny or anything like that. I want to show you that your life doesn't have to be a 9 to 5, it doesn't have to be in a house to be fulfilling. This is just something on my heart that I want to share with you guys because it has truly transformed my entire life, my marriage, my relationship with God, with my kids, everything is just so much better with less. And if that's something that encourages you, comment that down below because at the end of the day, this is a community that supports one another and I just am so excited. If you can't tell, I'm just so excited to just take you through the entire process, the entire journey, start to finish. And yeah, welcome to our new house. And I want to be as raw and realistic with you guys as possible because it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows, but it is going to be worth it. Because at the end of the day, my priorities are joy and I want to have a joyful life. I want to raise joyful children and I just really want to be intentional as a mother, as a wife, as just a friend, as a person in general. And this is the best way that I know how is by sharing it with you. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're ready to take on this journey from house to wheels with us. And yeah, let's do this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Yeah.